Hello and welcome to today's Klagemauer TV. Today's topics, America already discovered by ancient Egyptians. Ancient Egyptian maps imply that a water trade route from Egypt to America must have already existed at the time of the pharaohs. Royal incest. One incestuous bloodline of the British royal family can be traced back all the way to the pharaohs. Founder of modern sex education was a Satanist. The emerging sex education in our schools has its origin in Satanism. Global genealogies. Specifically, we'll look at the Bush family tree today. A day like any other day. The blonde from CBS News probably had no idea that her great interview in the early show would cause such ground-shaking reactions. But now it's out. And as often happens with words, they grow wings and spread like wildfire around the world. In short, due to the British official genealogy research, it was revealed which blood relations can be found, for example, between Barack Obama, the Bush family, the royal family, and leading figures of many other genera and countries. However, what significant role Alistair Crowley has played within this bloodline, which was kept secret so far, Ah, you didn't know that either. According to Terra Hearts DE and many other sources, Crowley is supposedly a relative of the world's most powerful. Thanks for all further references here. Crowley, Alistair, English occultist. Born 1875, died 1947. Became a spiritual leader of occult Satanism because of his writings. Source. Brockhaus Encyclopedia, Volume 1. Royal Incest. Ancient royal dynasties practiced incest to keep their money and power within the family. Mothers were married to sons, brothers to sisters, and so on. One incestuous bloodline of the British royal family can be traced back as far as to their pharaonic ancestry. But what had become of those ancient pharaohs? They once ruled the whole world from Egypt. And what happened then? Did they just vanish into thin air? No. Not being tolerated by the people any longer, they went underground, but still reigned through various secret societies. They moved out of Egypt and into Europe to establish the Holy Roman Empire. From there, they spread into various European outposts, still marrying only within their own bloodline. From Great Britain, they broadened their global dominance. Windsor, by the way, is not the real name of this royal family. It was added only recently, probably to mask their true origin. Using England, they spread their world dominance to Washington, D.C. and further. In summary, one family, one bloodline, one world supremacy. Sometimes the truth is weirder than fiction. And now to globalist genealogies. U.S. President Barack Obama has at least two royal ancestors. William I, called the Lion, King of Scotland, and Henry II of England. Obama is related to at least six U.S. presidents. Jimmy Carter, a half-seventh cousin four times removed. Harry S. Truman, seventh cousin four times removed. The two George Bushs, tenth cousin twice and three times removed. Woodrow Wilson, husband of Obama's sixth cousin six times removed, and James Madison, third cousin ten times removed. Besides this, Obama is the ninth cousin twice removed of Vice President Dick Cheney. He is also related to Jack Kerouac and Princess Diana, a literal nepotism which is unequaled. Some legislators and constitutional judges are also relatives of Obama. Moreover, in his family tree, you will find great figures of every kind. Madonna, Celine Dion, Tom Hanks, Brad Pitt, with cousin Angelina Jolie, etc. 
The American continents have always been ruled and possessed by the same British and European families of whom history books say they were defeated in the so-called independence wars. America was already discovered in ancient times by Egyptians. The history of America's colonization is refuted by new archaeological findings. Already in the 3rd century BC, the Egyptian Erastothenus mapped big inhabited landmasses in the west of the Atlantic Ocean. In addition, ancient maps chart the American double continent together with the Antarctic even centuries before the official discovery. Egyptian boats, pictured on ancient maps, imply that a water trade route from Egypt to America must have existed already at the time of the pharaohs. Evidence is also given, amongst other things, by traces of nicotine and cocaine in Egyptian mummies. Bush is closely related to every European monarch, whether on the throne or not. Source, official British genealogy. Every presidential election in America from George Washington in 1789 to Bill Clinton has always been won by the candidate with the most British or French royal genes. Of the 42 presidents up to Bill Clinton, 33 were related to two persons, Alfred the Great, King of England, and Charlemagne. And 19 presidents are related to the English King Edward III, 2,000 bloodlines run from him to Prince Charles. Thank you, Studio Dresden. And now our topic, the genealogy of George W. Bush. Amongst George W. Bush's closer blood relatives, Joseph Smith Jr., founder of the Mormon religion that has identical symbols and traditions as the Freemasons, Sir Winston Churchill, Franklin D. Roosevelt, Richard Nixon and Gerald R. Ford are to be found. Lincoln was Bush's seventh cousin five times removed. John McCain is a cousin six times removed of Laura Bush, the wife of George W. Bush. Even Playboy founder Hugh Hefner is a blood relative. And finally, according to terahertz.de and many other sources, the founder of modern Satanism, Aleister Crowley, is supposedly the father of Barbara Bush, George W. Bush's mother. Now this single bloodline controls our world. With my hawk's head I peck at the eyes of Jesus as he hangs upon the cross. I flap my wings in the face of Mohammed and blind him. With my claws I tear out the flesh of the Indian and the Buddhist, Mongol and Din. The founder of modern sex education was a Satanist. The emerging sex education in our schools has its origin in Satanism. It is based on Alfred Kinsey's studies from the 60s. But Kinsey was a Satanist, even a professing disciple of the greatest Satanist of the 20th century, Aleister Crowley. Only hardly anyone knows that Crowley brutally, cruelly, sexually abused, slaughtered and sacrificed children in satanic rituals. Kinsey's studies again in turn are mainly based on pedophilic, perverse experiments on hundreds of infants and children. He sexually stimulated those sometimes for days, by his own account, even to the point of convulsions and unconsciousness. Rulers of this world caught serving Moloch. A secret that had been strictly hidden for over a hundred years could be revealed on July 15, 2000. In the Bohemian Grove in the woods of North California, U.S. presidents, bankers, top officials of international politics, governments, economic leaders, religion, media moguls, scientists, etc. are gathering regularly to serve Moloch. Sacrificing to Moloch is what Lucifer-orientated circles have been doing since the time of the ancient Egyptians. In satanic rituals they especially sacrificed infants, animals, but also adults. Also sound recordings of homosexual comedies in the Bohemian Grove are alerting. Of course the participants deny that they consecrate living humans to the fire of Moloch. 
But shall we, of all things, trust those powers who in front of running cameras and without blinking an eye engulf whole countries in fire under lying pretexts, Iraq for instance? I was seven years old when they held that sharp knife against my throat for the first time, which they always used to kill the children, fetuses, animals with. I had to swear that I would never ever tell anyone of this. Before the rituals, I was often brought into a group of pedophile men where I was accustomed to let everything happen to me without resistance. To get beaten, whipped, drink, drink urine, eat feces. I was always hurt very badly on my genitals. They raped me however they liked, and I had to do everything imaginable, disgusting things with the men. I got beatings, electric shocks, injections, drugs, depending on what they were up to. At certain celebrations, children and fetuses were sacrificed and killed on the altar. When I was younger, I had to watch them, and then I also had to take part and cut up the children, the dead fetuses, eat a piece, drink blood. The worst was that I always was alone with all of that because I was not allowed to tell anyone. After hearing this shocking testimony, we would like to refer you to our topic-related broadcasts where we ask questions such as, who are the men in the white coats? Who is behind these shirking officials? And when satanic circles are murdering, where are the sect experts? Dear viewers, this most recent genealogical finding proves the fact that there is indeed a conspiracy through Masonic secret societies. That these center around worship of Lucifer or Satan as their god has been attested to in our other broadcast, How Humane is the Top of the Freemasons. May further solid evidence be found that lead to eradication of all satanic devious secret societies. Innumerable people testify that Satanists always act in hypocrisy and do not shrink back from any abomination. For today, we say goodbye. Join us again tomorrow. 